guys, today I'm going to play with a full face of Tarte makeup. Most of this stuff is from that uh, beauty kit where you get to pick all the stuff in it, but some of it I've had before that. It's just stuff that I've collected over the past several months. It's actually a little chilly outside, which is very exciting. So I have my dad's little jacket on and I love it very much. His sweatshirts are the best and they're like 20 years old so if it's getting cold where you are and your dad is maybe like a size bigger than you are like raid his closet because my god my dad has the best sweatshirts i'm gonna prime and moisturize my skin with other stuff i don't have tart stuff for that I do have some dry patches on my nose, so hopefully this foundation and everything will work okay on it. But what I'm going to use is the Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. It looks like it would be a good match. This is in the color medium. I wish it came with a pump, but it's just like a squeezy tube. Is anybody else really enjoying like the Black Friday, some Cyber Monday deals going on? Because right now it's Cyber Monday and I'm loving all the deals. I keep saying to myself like, okay, I'm done shopping for my parents now. And then another like irresistible deal happens and I'm like, well, I can't like not get them this. I had $20 of Kohl's cash and a 20% off coupon. And so I got my dad two shirts and I got me a sweater and all together came to four dollars. How do you say no to that? So that keeps happening and Big Lots had 20% off everything. I got some like candy and stuff for everyone and some sodas. Whoever did that, like, because I did a buy online pick up and store order, whoever like has to do like fulfill that is going to be like, wow, this person is not healthy. <laughs> Because it's just a bunch of candy and soda and stuff. Nothing healthy. It's the holidays. You're not supposed to eat healthy. I think this looks great on my skin everywhere except my nose. But I am having some like weird dry patches on my nose. But it looks extra dry on my nose. But everywhere else it looks really nice. It is nice like light coverage. I think it's like just enough coverage where you look nice and put together but not too much where it's like obviously very obvious that your face is just caked in makeup. I think it's nice and it feels really light on my face. It doesn't feel really heavy and itchy. Like I really like this foundation, this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir, but I feel it on my skin all day. So, but so far this feels nice and light. And I'm going to powder my entire face super quick with something that's not tart again. Next I'm going to do like face stuff and for that I have this Tartist Pro Glow To Go palette and it's got two highlights and a like contour bronzer color. Mm, looks like this and I love the gold accents on it and it's got some nice little colors in it. I'm going to do the contour color and it's called Chisel. I love the way Tarte products smell. They smell so like vanilla chocolatey. That looks pretty nice. I like the color of it. I tend to go pretty heavy on my bronzer because it makes my, my face look a lot skinnier. Looks nice and I love putting it on my nose and at the hairline. Yeah, I really like this bronzer. I think it looks really, really nice. And next I'm going to put on some blush. And this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Party. And I think I got this last year from Ulta for the birthday deal thing. And I've never used it. So I'm going to give it a shot. I have seen some stuff online saying that... Um, like the new party is a lot different than the old party. 
like the shade is different and everything. But this, I guess, would be the old one because I've had it for like two years. So that's nice too. I think Tarte products are really nice. They also have a really nice rewards program on their website. I'll link it below. And you can just like do quizzes and answer questions and rate products and everything like that and get points. And then you can get like little deluxe size samples with your next order and everything. This gleam color is pretty weird. It like shifts blue. It's like super weird. I'm going to go in with this first color because it looks like just a classic gold highlight. Woo! Wow, that's more pigmented than I thought that would be. All right. That's pretty glittery. Uh, I don't love that highlight. It shows up a lot on my skin, but like in a bad way. Yeah, I don't love that highlight, but I do like the bronzer a lot in this palette, and I also think this is super weird, so I probably wouldn't use that color. And I don't have anything for the eyebrows either, sorry. I'm going to work on the eyes, and I also don't have an eyeshadow primer, so I'm just going to use my Lorac stuff. And I think this stuff, like, creases on my eyes, because it seems like pretty soon after I apply it, my eyeshadow has like a really bad crease right in the crease of the eye and when I had uh, e.l.f. eyeshadow primer I never had that problem and that was that used to be a dollar I don't know how much they're charging now I don't use e.l.f. products anymore but I used to really like it when they were actually a dollar once they started raising their prices I was like okay I'm not interested anymore they might be more high quality but I don't know. And for the eyeshadow, I have the Tartlet Flirt palette. I don't love the packaging. It looks really young, especially for Tarte. Like everything else looks so like luxe and like sexy. And then there's this. I don't like it. I mean, I love the color purple, but like it doesn't look, I don't know, it looks young. But here are the colors in it, which I think are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm very excited to play with them. And I think every eyeshadow look should have at least a little bit of shimmer or glitter. So I'm very excited that it has some like shiny colors in there. I'm going to go in with Snuggle. These are cute uh, shade names. Woo! That is pigmented! The only other Tarte product, like eyeshadow product that I have, is the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. And I feel like those shades don't go so dark. So it's nice to see like a darker shade with a lot of pigmentation in here. I think that's really nice, especially because it didn't... I mean, I guess it looked this dark in the palette, but it didn't look like it would go... The palette looks a little boring, like a little plain, like just another average, uh, like normal brown neutral eyeshadow palette, but it's nice that it has so much pigmentation and you don't really have to build it up. And it's blending out really nice. I think it looks beautiful. You really don't need a lot though. The hard part is making these eyes match. <laughs> I swear my eyes are two different shapes because they never look the same. If you're wondering, I still haven't cleaned my brushes because I'm a trash human. I'm not seeing a brush I want, so I'm just going to use my finger and go into Gaze. It's just a light color, and I'm just going to put that all over my eye. Ooh, see that's so pigmented! Or just like a little cream color that's crazy yeah I'm just gonna put this in like the front half of my eye 
and I'm gonna go on top with Touch. And it's like an orangey, glittery, goldy color. And pink, it like shifts in the light. Ooh, very pretty. I've been wearing this color, this type of color on my eye a lot recently. And I think it's just so nice, especially for like the holidays because it's a nice warm orangey color and it's glittery. Looks like Thanksgiving. My eyes look very, very much Thanksgiving today. How was your Thanksgiving? Mine was wonderful. Every Thanksgiving we go out to eat because none of us want to cook. And it's so nice doing it that way. Because that way there's no leftovers, you're not eating it for the next two weeks. And uh, you see your family for like an hour, two hours, and then everybody goes home and you don't have to like see them all day, which is wonderful. I'm not very much of a family person. I'm obsessed with my parents, but that's about it. I'll use this one. This is like a really, really old e.l.f. brush, and it's kind of sharp, but none of my brushes are clean. And I'm going to go into Hotline. Looks like a peanut butter color. Woo, that kicked up so much powder. Holy crap. I want a nice bright inner corner, so I'm going to go back in with the highlight uh, stuff here and use that gold highlight again. Put that in my inner corners. I don't love the Tarte highlights that I've used. Like the one in the Swamp Queen palette is also very, very glittery. And I don't like, like, highlights with chunks of glitter in it. But if that's your thing, they have, like, a bunch of it. And before I put on mascara, I'm going to use this Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It feels so nice and high quality and everything, and it's beautiful. So, let's see. Ugh, it's kind of spitting a little bit, but it's new, so. You can't feel that, like, at all. I like to feel my face mists, and this you can't feel, like, at all. I mean, you do if you get too close, but then you're just too close to your face, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that uh, face mist. I have another face mist that I have here though, and this is the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I don't know what that means, but I like that mist a lot better because you can actually feel it. Hopefully my makeup will last forever because now I have two face mists on. We'll see. Going in with mascara, I absolutely love this mascara, the Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1. I think this is really, really nice. Your lashes just look so gorgeous after this. They're long and spread apart and just wispy and beautiful. They're not clumpy, they're not chunky, they're not weird, they're not wiry or anything. They just look so beautiful. And my natural lashes are really long and they're already pretty curled. So, um... I don't know if it would work as well for you if you don't have long lashes, but I just think this looks so nice. Super pumped that I found a mascara I really like. I also like Better Than Sex, but after I've used this mascara, I look back on it and I'm like, those lashes are so clumpy. I mean, I guess it's just whatever you like. If you like clumpy lashes, then go for that one, but... For just nice, separated, beautiful, long lashes, I really like this one. And then for the lips, I don't know how this color is going to look, but this is the Tardis Glossy Lip Paint in Goals. Looks like this. 
Let's see, it looks like it would be too light. I was hoping this would smell good, but it doesn't. I do not like the wand, it's floppy. I do think it's too light. I think colors more like this is more my color and this is very much light pink and this is more of like a dark purple mauve. The shade's okay. My lips are a little dry today and this lip gloss shows all of that. I didn't even know my lips were dry until I put this lip gloss on and it definitely gathers in the, in the little butthole region. There's like a bunch right there in the inside of the mouth. And it doesn't seem to apply evenly. It's a little streaky. I don't love this. I don't think I even really like it. Uh, this is one of my favorite lip glosses. This is Anastasia Kirsten lip gloss. And it's amazing. And it's really high quality. Really beautiful, thick color payoff. And shiny and beautiful. And, um, mm, I don't love this. I'd say pass on the lip paints and then go to Anastasia and get their lip glosses. Oh, my mom's leaving. Bye, Mommy. Well, this is the final look. I think it looks pretty nice. We can go product by product. This BB cream I really like. I think it's really nice. The color looks perfect on me. It does look dry on my nose, but my nose looks extra dry today. The Tardist Pro Glow thing. I like the contour color, but I don't like this highlight. Um, for an inner corner highlight, it's fine, I guess, but uh, whatever. And this is such a weird color. I haven't tried it, but it looks so strange. So I'm kind of like nervous to try it out. And the Flirt little palette I really liked. It had a bunch of pigmentation. This color has a lot of fallout on the actual like palette, but I didn't notice anything on my face. Yeah, it doesn't look like any of the powder got on my face anywhere, but there's a lot of kick up in the palette. Uh, but the other shades look really nice on the skin. They look really pretty in the palette, really nice good pigmentation, and I say this is really good. This blush I think was good. It was a good color. It was just like, I guess, an average blush. I don't love blush. Um, I don't like have a favorite blush or anything. I just use whatever I have, so um, I'll be adding that into rotation. My favorite mascara. I am in love with it. It's perfect and amazing. I don't like this lip paint at all. I don't like the color. I don't like the formula. I don't like the smell. I don't like the paddle applicator thing. Just, uh, I'd skip on that. I'd also skip on this Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist because it's so light. I, I like to feel it, but if you don't like to feel it, if you have like a texture thing and you're like, I don't want it, um, this is nice because you don't feel it and hopefully it'll make your makeup last longer. But I prefer the Rainforest of the Sea Skin face mist stuff. I don't know if it does anything, but I like the way it feels. And that's everything I tried. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.